This video explains FIBA, which stands for Failure Indication and Break Application Device, detailing its connection and operation. You are watching the Let's Grow Up YouTube channel. In a train coach, the bogey load is supported by secondary suspension springs or air springs. While the train is in motion, if there is damage or leakage in the air below, it can result in the tilting of the couch. Here, see this animation. Additionally, if the train is traveling at a speed of 160 km per hour, damaged or leaking air below poses a significant danger to the coach. Don't worry friends, to address this situation, there is a specialized device called FIBA. FIBA serves as one more safety feature for LHB type coaches. Actually, it is a safety device, used in the air spring bogey, designed to detect air spring failures and automatically apply the brakes. In LHB type coaches, two FIBA devices are installed under the coach, with one for each bogey. This is the FIBA unit. This is an indicator, utilized on both sides. This device is connected to the brake pipe, BP main pipe, through a branch pipe. In this setup, the air springs are controlled by an independent leveling valve. In every bogey, there are two leveling valves to regulate the coach's body level. And a duplex check valve from the same bogey is connected to operate at a pressure differential of 1.5 plus 0.12 kilograms per square centimeter. The system consists of a valve that senses the pressure of compressed air in each bellow of the bogey. Here, this pipe delivers air to the air springs on both sides below through the leveling valve. Furthermore, the output air from the leveling valve enters the air springs below and then connects with the duplex check valve to monitor air pressure. During the train's operation, if the FIBA detects any fault or leakage in the air below, the system promptly relays this information to the crew and drops the air pressure inside the brake pipe. The FIBA system triggers a brake application when the pressure difference between the bellows in that bogey exceeds 1.7 plus 0.15 minus 0.05 kilograms per square centimeter. FIBA should apply brakes in the complete train and provide a whistling sound and red indication through the indicator provided with the FIBA device. After resetting or isolating the FIBA, the train can continue running at approximately 60 km per hour for the next CNW inspection. If you're interested in understanding how the AirSpring suspension system operates, be sure to check out the end screen. Let's grow up, never stop learning.